Hi, my name is Thijs Hey Jacobsen and I'm the designer, sculptor and owner of Arbiter Miniatures. Today I would like to show you a new category of 3D printable miniatures that I've created. But first I would like to give you a short background of why I have created this new category. The Arbiter Miniatures tribe on my manufactory releases themed sets every month with all models available in both pre-supported resin and supportless FDM friendly versions. Each month I take great care to sculpt the supportless models to be as dynamic and visually engaging as gravity will allow. But while they are beautiful models and super easy to print, they can't give the same dynamic pose options and beautiful silhouettes that a pre-supported model can. With new FDM printers becoming much more precise and user-friendly, I began working on a hybrid between a supportless and a pre-supported model to give people with newer FDM printers the option to get the best of both worlds. That said, to be perfectly clear, if you want the best surface quality possible, resin is still king and I'm not here to argue that these advanced FDM models are a direct competitor to resin models. Uh, in the same note, these advanced FDM models are not as easy to print and get perfect results with as the supportless models I create. Instead, these advanced FDM models sit in the middle of pre-supported resin models and supportless models. As the name suggests, they are advanced FDM models and to some extent they are aimed at somewhat advanced FDM printer users. What they will offer you are FDM miniatures with as dynamic posing as pre-supported resin models and with a much uh, cleaner and higher surface quality than you would get with regular FDM support techniques. Um, compared to a resin print you will see a moderate loss of detail but the model will still look great and the quality is high enough that you can achieve highly detailed painted models with this technique. And all of this can be had while avoiding the toxic fumes and hazardous material handling that is part of resin printing. Again, an FDM printer still doesn't achieve the same print surface quality as a resin printer. But I found that if the model is sculpted and supported in the right tolerances and angles, and all of the full model is envisioned as a whole across both sculpting and support work, you can reliably print pre-supported dynamic models on an FDM printer with surface so clean that you can actually use both resin style supporting, split parts, key assemblies, and end up with a model of high enough quality that you can use them for detailed painting. And that is exactly what this new category of models is all about. In this video, I will show you exactly what you can expect from the models, how to print them and post process them, as well as the pros and cons so you can get the same great results as I do. The advanced FDM models are all tested using the Bamboo Lab A1 FDM printer using a 0.2 mm nozzle compared to the standard 0.4 mm nozzle. This nozzle is bought separately and costs around 13 euro or US dollars. Furthermore, all tests are printed using the miniature printing profile from Fat Dragon Games. Link to their profile is in the description. As suggested in the Fat Dragon Games profile, I'm using Sunlu Meta Grey PLA filament. Besides giving great print quality, this filament has some great characteristics and behaviors that we will benefit from during the print cleanup phase. More on that later. With the printing profile loaded, you're ready to print the parts. To get the best quality and avoid print failures, I highly recommend you print one part at a time. The only change I've made to the Fat Dragon Games print profile is that I've raised my own print bed temperature to 80 degrees Celsius to avoid prints occasionally detaching from the print bed during print. This is how clean your print should look right off the printer bed. Support removal is easy and straightforward, but while the finished model will generally be less fragile than a resin print, you will need to be careful during the support removal to avoid breaking off thin parts. If you are using a standard clipper, like shown here, make sure that you clip off the support using the very tip of the clipper. If you go past the clipper's very tip, like shown here, then the thickness of the clipper blade can work like a wedge and break the model. 
Once the model is released from the support structure, use an X-Acto knife to remove any leftover marks from the supports, just like you would on a resin printed model or a plastic model from a sprue. For the final step, we will use a small torch lighter to give the cleanup area a short burst of heat. This is where the Sunlu Meta PLA filament really shines as it has a very smooth transition from hard to soft when given small blasts of heat. It also has practically no change in surface appearance other than a little bit of shine. That means that this precise and careful heat treatment will heal the final bit of surface imperfection and on rougher parts it will even let you smooth out or sculpt rougher parts with your fingers or the side of a clipper or blade. All that is left now is to glue the parts together. For this I use standard Loctite super glue. Here is how the final model looks. Here is a photo where I spray primed the model in red and painted the head and parts of the cape. This photo is taken on the very direct light and I've done this deliberately to show a kind of worst case scenario for a FGM printed model since in this sort of direct lighting scenario and with pure primer on the model you will be able to see all the imperfections. Also in this photo you can see how the paint hides the imperfections and even printed in FDM the model is detailed enough that you can do precision work like glazing, painting eyes and so on. Finally I want to show a fully painted FDM model. This one is from the supportless range. I am a slow painter, so I don't have a lot of examples, and while I'm not a high level painter either, I wanted to show these so you can see what you can get with an FDM printer and simple layering painting techniques. Before I end this video, I want to do a quick disclaimer. The advanced FDM models are only tested to work on Bamboo Lab A1 and Bamboo Lab A1 mini printers using a 0.2mm nozzle, Sunlu Meta PLA filament and the Fat Dragon Games print profile. So if you want the easiest way to get the same results, I recommend you use exactly the same gear as I do. We have tested extensively on my own printers as well as across a number of external testers before release. But so many factors can influence FDM printing, like if the filament is dry or not, your local environment, the quality and state of maintenance of your printer, and so on. Therefore, I've created a free sample advanced FDM model. I highly recommend that you download this model and test print it before you buy any of the paid advanced FDM models in my store. That way, you know if your printer can handle it and if it is a good experience for you before you spend any of your hard earned money on the advanced FDM range of models from Arbiter Miniatures. With all that said, I think this is a super exciting way to print beautiful models with a cheap FDM printer and it is something I would love to have been able to do when I first started out. If you like the models, please tell people you know about it and come join our Arbiter Miniatures Discord. We are a big group of miniature art enthusiasts over there and it is a good way to find friendly like-minded people, get help and have the opportunity to influence the models we create. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you have a wonderful day.